today's video, <clears throat> I'm going to be showcasing this uh, Vivian deck that I showed maybe five, six days ago at this point, maybe a little bit longer. I just wanted to play some straight uh, stats, beat my opponent to death, get it done quickly, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, not have to think too hard about anything and just kind of enjoy my morning playing a few games. Um, just an update from the coaching video. It seems like it's doing even better than the other video I posted yesterday. I posted them at the same time because I knew the quality on the coaching video wasn't great because Tino only had his uh, tablet, but it's outperforming the other video. So if that's something you guys uh, want to continue to see, then I just need people that are interested in doing it. And uh, he also messaged me in Discord yesterday and told me that the coaching definitely worked. Um, the changes we made were beneficial and now he's top 18 as of when he messaged me, 60, 16 actually, I think he said. It was either 16 or 18, I think it was 16. And um, his previous best was 20th. And, um, you know, we only climbed a couple points in our video, but he said talking and the changes definitely helped him. So I like that a lot. If you didn't see this deck before, we're running this land just for a bit of card advantage. And we're just curving into the most statty things we can and doing nothing particularly special. And then we have Grudge Match, and we have the, um, we have the blind side, where's the blind side? Um, because our things are gonna be bigger on curve than theirs, and so they're, they're basically just free removal that are cheap. And then we have more removal to get rid of blockers with Stag and Behemoth, get rid of, you know, blockers and flyers and such. And then we have Growth Protector, which can heal the things after they make a favorable trade. We're running the Marksman just for some more removal. I mean, we have Grudge Match, Blindside, Marksman, Stag, and Behemoth, so we have plenty of removal, and Briarhorn basically serves the same purpose as this guy a lot of the time, and then also just to make something just straight bigger and more of a problem. So let's hop on the ladder and see how it goes. Okay, so this is probably OTK. Not sure if I can break through. I probably can, but there's certain draws they can have that'll make it really hard for me. And off we go. Well, maybe it's not the OTK version. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. You know, I basically have two, three, four, right? I heard the stadium needs Or two, three, four. It's gonna pass, right? Hello. Thank you. My guy, what you doing? Are they just gonna think a ton every single turn? Like one mana, two mana, buddy. Thank you. All right, man, this might get real nasty. I gotta keep in mind uh, Day of Judgment five turns from now, so I'm gonna try and close it before then. I have a really good chance if I go detonator and a mongrel too, especially followed up by this. This is just a nasty curve. Oh yeah, yeah, it's over. That's way too slow. Um, let's see what we get. Show them your teeth. I gotta start playing the detonators more, even though I don't want to. Alright, so next turn we can grudge match and Tusker or yeah. I mean they're just super dead, right? Okay, um I think we should stat Sarah out pretty reliably. Hopefully it's not the day of judgment version, hopefully it's like the load of the ground um 
aggro faster mid-range version I still don't know what's going on with these load times I know it's not my internet connection I have a good internet connection I have ethernet cable like it's not me Tinker Tino, okay. Now that looks more like the controller version, sadly. I'll put, well, maybe I should have kept that, because they have flyers. But, I should be able to race them, though. Double, Tusker in a double worm's wake is nasty. But I am worried about them having Day of Judgment and such. Okay, so maybe they're just running that land... Because they shouldn't be running Day of Judgment and Faithful Seed in the same deck, I don't think. I mean, maybe they do, though, just to get the Aura of Courage for their flyers, you know? So. Hopefully it's a pass. Very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, this curve is really mean. Um, I just need something to play next turn. So, any play next turn would be great. Oh, come on. At least they trade, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's a play, so I can't be mad. Attack. If they don't trade, then they have shenanigans. Okay. Or they don't want to telegraph, they have shenanigans. Even Worms Wake into Stag into this is a very strong curve. Yeah, I don't care about that. I am going to attack with this because I just want to clear clear the board up. Um, am I though? No, I don't think I will. Especially not after that. I mean, it's really the same thing though, isn't it? So, let's just Worms Wake and pass. I'm not in a hurry. And now the plan is Mongrel into Fire Spot Elemental, so quite a strong curve, I think. Uh, I'll take two. That could be really bad news for me. Ooh, man, my curve is so nasty. Alright. Now they can take nine or lose two guys, right? And they'd have to summon something else for Divine Smite to even kill my 2-4. Not anymore. So, are they really gonna just take 9? They're, they're considering just taking the 9. Because they're like, oh, I'm really only taking 8. Taking five, and then double fire spell elemental hopefully is enough to close the game, right? Yep, saw that coming. That's taking up way too much of your turn, sadly. They didn't even have a creature to play. Yikes. Alright, so I have to just go for the double fire spot plan. Because Aura of Courage is coming up, so I have to make them trade their board off before, you know, they can get any value out of it, right? I love playing Vivian this way. I think this is like just. Vivian's just always going to be like, I play the best creatures on curve, period. I think that's really cool. Take this! You gonna take eleven or are you giving up the dog? Cool. And I can almost guarantee get rid of at least one of their blockers for next turn, which is pretty cool if I need to, but it's probably just gonna be this. And if it's just one thing that I play next turn, I can get an upgrade as well. 
Hopefully they top deck like War of Courage, it doesn't help them do My anything. Is upon you. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go for another one of these. I could attempt to... Okay, I was gonna say, if I get six mana, I could have seen what the upgrade was gonna be, and then see if this could take it out, but... Um, yeah, we're just gonna do this. Yeah, this is just a godly curve here. So even if they block one of the biggest ones, they're taking 15, so they're at 6. 7 on the start of their turn. And hopefully they're not running Day of Judgment for like the weirdest reason I've ever seen. Ha! It doesn't even matter if they are now. I can get rid of one of their blockers. I can heal my mongrel up all the way. Yeah. Oh no no no, I didn't get to six last turn, so I'd have to stag and watch wolf next turn if I don't if it doesn't happen again. Well look at that juicy stag target. It can't be a pass, right? Like they got something. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Is this one cheaper? Yeah. Okay, I still think stag is the best play here, and then watch wolf, so Let's stag. Um, I could stag this, right? And then they they die no matter what. Yeah. Run them down. They'll die no matter what either way. So. Do, 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 do. Yep. Easy peasy. Right okay, so this is Mon Man. I'm happy to see that it's not. You know, Maniac Jace that were out of that meta. Rawl's a ton of fun. Rawl's a good deck. We might be able to stat him out with Vivian here. Um, really, I'm going to keep a, a grudge match or a blind side because I must be able to answer Mizium Monstrosity before it gets too big. My game is still taking forever with this loading stuff. And so I really hope I don't get robbed of a mulligan here. I'm going first. I'm going to keep the two drop and try and curve out into more. Okay, yeah, I was going to say more aggressive stuff. I heard stadium needs wrecking. Let's go. And the high stats on these cards will really help the shock of absorption on these chaos lightnings. <laughs> so let's not be a scrub. Let's bank this. Ward's pretty good. I guess I'll say hi. You know who I am. I do indeed, sir. You know who I am. Okay. Of course. So now I can get flame bolted regardless, which is not what I want to see. <laughs> really would have liked a blind side here. I'm not going to heal for one, so let's do this instead. Haste. That's why I did that first, because I figured I might get something like that. This is going to flip almost undoubtedly. I'm not going to play Daybreak Ranger until turn 6, probably, which, you know, isn't the best. But yeah, no blind side and no grudge match, so. I wouldn't be surprised if I lost this one. Yep. Extract sample is something some Rawls use to um, help in the mirror. There's no way he's not going to flip either. Yeah. Okay. And then just anything, it flips, and I'm going to take six. Yeah, I really needed that grudge match. Maybe I shouldn't have even kept the 2-4 and should have mauled that out as well. Unsummon's interesting because it was going to get stunned anyway, but it does put my board a little bit behind, but could be worse. And now we get the grudge match just late enough to not matter anymore, right? Of course. I really don't want to play Daybake Ranger because if they have a uh, Firemine Bolt, then I'm just dead. 
I can't curve anyway. Sneak. Tear it all down. Ugh, this is not good. This is not what I wanted. If I had it, um, Watch Wolf into Grudge Match, then that would have been... This game would be look very different right now. And I'm just going to take another six from this thing, so... Yeah, this is not good. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Scepter looks cool, Premium. I don't know if I've ever seen a Premium Scepter. Hold up. Yeah, I have before. It's just been a while. Yeah, it looks good. Interesting. I don't remember what this one does. Isn't it, like, really good? Drop the card that heals and add it to your hand. Yeah, it's pretty good. So now I really have to make sure I get this in one shot. I wasn't going to block anyway. Well. If they have Cloak, um, this game is super duper over. Alright, now the game is just trolling me, giving me the grudge matches now. Good morning, little friends. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have put it on it. Well, no, the grudge match will still make it trade anyway. So, in worst case scenario, well, no, it's bigger. It's too big to daybreak ranger now. See, so, yeah, maybe. Well, if I put it all on one thing though, then he can, you know, just unsummon it or shell game it or, you know, whatever shenanigans he has. But it seems like a pretty stock list so far. Energy That's pretty bad. Are my latest creation. Okay, I like the draw. Oh, Tusker, no. Another Briarhorn. It's not exactly what I wanted. Well, isn't that just... Groovy for you. Uh oh. How do I do this? Fuck. I can't, I mean, I literally just can't take that, right? Because three spells and I'm dead, so... That doesn't change any of the grudge match math. I knew that was going to pop off on the worst possible turn for me. Um, yeah, see, if it didn't pop off, I could go two, grudge match two. And that would be really great. Or I could have done this and killed that and had two blockers for this. So my land going off there is also... Really, really bad news for me. Leave this forest. You know what? Let's see if I can get rid of either one. And then... Just play another blocker. Okay. So this really makes me think that he has um, Chaos Lightning, but I mean this game's just kind of been over for a while. Already have reach. So what Show happens when I play this? Lead this forest. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, now laboratory is going off. It's just super over. Ooh, this card looks good. Premium too. I like the bubble action. Yeah, and either has another uh, breakthrough or unsummon or something. Yeah, chaos lightning, and I'm dead. Yeah. The entire game is different if I drew a grudge, grudge match like a turn sooner. But, how it goes. Alright, Derek Rogers. Another Ral. Everyone's just trying so hard right now. But, uh, I must see a grudge match or a, or a blindside to deal with the Mizia monstrosity or thing in the ice early. Or I'll probably lose. Alright, come on game, transition for me so I can get my mulligan. Pretty please. Any day now. If I don't get a mulligan, then I'm gonna be pretty annoyed. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I might not get them all, guys. I want to put all that back because none of that is blindside or a two drop or a grudge match. Very nice, very nice. Let's go. I heard the stadium needs wrecking. <laughs> the best boy. Good. Now this is a much more tame start for my opponents, and even if they had a head thing in the ice this time, I have grudge match, so. Into Worm's Wake is a very strong curve. Um, yeah, Takedown doesn't do it. They have to basically unsummon one of these, I think. I guess they could stun one, but that's kind of like really low tempo. Okay. Okay. Energy level spiking. <laughs> yeah. See if I can get him to take eight first. <laughs> which he does, which I'm happy about. Um. Yeah, if he spends more mana dealing with the 5-1, I'm totally fine with that. Mongrel off the top would be nuts nuts. Totally fine with me. Shock on the other one. Unsummon. Totally fine. I've got these two on 4 to play. Very nice. Mongrel was the top deck. Well, we're going for Mongrel. Because if he spends a turn answering it, then I just follow up with Fire Spell Elemental, and I'm getting Chandra vibes from this game, right? Yeah, it's a real shame we didn't have Blindside or uh, Grudge Match for the first game early enough. Would have saved like 12, 13, 14 damage, something like that, from the thing in the ice. Yeah, and this is way too slow. This is way too slow. I'm just going to take whatever damage and then punch him with both of these. I'm not making it any easier for this to get uh, Chaos Lightning in the future. He has to block, so there's no reason for me to stag right now. That's how it's supposed to be. I think I learned something today. All right, guys. I think I'll call it there. Uh, three and one is not a bad showcase. And I uh, really think if I had the grudge match or a blindside on a uh, curve there um, against uh, Mon Man, I think I got that game too. So very easily could have been a 4-0. Um, yeah, man. I think this is just the, the most fun, most direct way of playing Vivian. I have a lot of fun with it. I'm almost out of the hole that I put myself in when I was like 200 and something. Uh, just messing around and being stupid. So, um, you know, I've already gone up like 100 places, so um, just going to play a little bit every day until the, um, until the reset, just make sure I'm in the top 100. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, please subscribe if you're not uh, getting really close to the 1K mark, and every day I'm losing subs and gaining subs, so I'm kind of like in this uh, purgatory right now. But um, thank you for all your support, and I will see you guys tomorrow.